गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस द मैथड ऑफ ऑप्टेनिंग अ टॉपोलॉजी बाय यूजिंग इंटीरियर ऑपरेटर सो लेट एस टेक अ नॉन एम्प्टी सेट एक्स एंड आई बी एन ऑपरेटर ऑन द सेट एक्स सच डैट द फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर्टीज आर सेटिस्फाइड द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी i of a is contained in a for every a which is the subset of x second property i of x is equal to the whole set x third property i of a intersection b is equal to i of a intersection i of b where a and b these are the subsets of the set x and the last property which is given i of i of a is same as i of a here a is a subset of x we are given these three properties and by using these three properties we are to prove that there exist a unique topology tau on the set x such that i of a denotes a interior here a interior means the interior of a with respect to the topology tau so in order to prove this let us firstly prove the property which we'll use later that for a and b two subsets of x if a is contained in b then i of a is contained in i of b now because a is contained in b this is a and this is b a is contained in b we can see that the intersection of two sets a and b that is the set a so therefore a intersection b is equal to a and therefore we can say that i of a intersection b is equal to i of a now we are given the third property in the statement by using that property i of a intersection b is equal to i of a intersection i of b so we get i of a intersection i of b is equal to i of a now because the intersection of two sets is the smaller set it means i of a will be contained in i of b now we will use this property in obtaining a topology on the set x now let us define a collection tau the collection of all those subsets of x such that i of a is equal to a now we proved that this collection is a topology on the set x first condition we will prove that the set x belongs to this collection tau now any set belongs to this collection tau if that is a subset of x and i of that set is equal to the same set now if we are to prove that x belongs to tau we will have to show that i of x is equal to x now because x is a subset of x and also we are given in the statement second property that i of x is equal to x so by using the second property given in the statement we have i of x is equal to x so we can say that x belongs to the collection tau now next property we are to show that phi belongs to the collection tau it means we will have to show that phi i of phi is equal to phi now because phi is a subset of x and also by the first property in the first property we are given that i of a is contained in a for every a subset of x because phi is a subset of x by using this property we can say that i of phi is contained in phi and also phi is the subset of every set so we can say that phi is contained in i of phi now we can combine these two conditions so we get 
आई ओ फाइव इज कंटेन इन फाइव एंड फाइव इज कंटेन इन आई ओ फाइव कंबाइनिंग दीज टू कंडीशन वी गेट आई ओ फाइव इज इक्वल टू फाइव सो बाई डेफिनेशन ऑफ कलेक्शन टॉप वी कैन से दैट फाइव बिलोंग्स टू टॉप नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी लेट एस टेक ए आई आई बिलोंग्स टू इंडेक्सेड बी अ कलेक्शन ऑफ द मेम्बर्स फ्रॉम टॉप and we are to prove that their arbitrary union also belongs to the collection top so let us take a is the union of these ais where i belongs to index set now we are to prove that a belongs to the collection top so in order to prove this we will have to show that i of a is equal to a now we are given in the statement that i of a is contained in a for every a subset of x and now because a is union of ai therefore each ai is contained in a and we already proved if one set is contained in another then i of that set is contained in i of another set so i of ai will be contained in i of a now because ai belongs to the topology uh, ai belongs to the collection top and by definition of this collection i of ai will be ai so we can put the value here this will become ai so ai is contained in i of a for every i belonging to index set so we can say that their union also is contained in i of a so union of ai i belongs to index set that is contained in i of a now this is a so we have proved a is contained in i of a now a is contained in i of a i of a is contained in a so therefore we have i of a is equal to a so by definition we can say that a belongs to the collection top now the last property for being a topology is that if we take two members from top then their intersection should also belongs to top now because a belongs to top so by definition of top i of a will be same as a b belongs to top so i of b will be same as b now to prove that a intersection b belongs to top we are to prove that i of a intersection b is equal to a intersection b so let us find i of a intersection b now we are given in the properties i of a intersection b is equal to i of a intersection i of b now substituting the values from here i of a is a i of b is b so we have proved i of a intersection b is equal to a intersection b so by definition we can say that a intersection b belongs to top so all the conditions for being a topology are satisfied by this collection top so we can say that top is a topology on the given set so we have proved the first step in which we have obtained a topology on the set x now in the next step we prove that i of a is nothing but the interior of the set a with respect to the topology top now in order to prove this we use the properties of interior which we already discussed we discussed a interior is the largest open set contained in a so we can say that a interior is contained in a so i of a interior will be contained in i of a and a interior belongs to top so we can say that i of a interior is equal to a interior and therefore we have a interior is contained in i of a by substituting the value here if we substitute this value here we get a interior is contained in i of a now we prove the converse 
Conversely, because I of A is contained in A, therefore its interior with respect to topology tau will be contained in A interior. Now we are given in the statement I of I of A is equal to I of A and by definition of collection tau such members belongs to the collection tau therefore I of A will belong to tau it means I of A is tau open therefore I of A interior is equal to I of A and therefore we get I of A is contained in A interior. Now we can combine the equations 3 and 5. From there we get I of A is equal to tau interior of A. Now in the last step we prove the uniqueness of this topology. Now let us take tau star be another topology on the set X such that the interior of A with respect to this topology tau star is same as I of A. Now we have I of A is equal to tau interior of A and also I of A is equal to tau star interior of A. So combining these two we can say that I of A, tau interior of A and tau star interior of A. These three are the same. It means I of A is same as A interior is equal to interior of A with respect to tau star. Now we are to prove that these two topologies tau and tau star these are same. So let us take an, an arbitrary member from the topology tau. Now A belongs to tau so by definition of tau I of A is equal to A. Now because I of A is equal to A interior so A interior is equal to A and A interior is further is equal to uh, tau star interior of A. So we can say that tau star interior of A is equal to A. So by definition it means A belongs to tau star. Proceeding these steps in the reverse process in the same way we can prove that tau star is contained in tau. So combining the two we can say that tau is equal to tau star. So this completes the method of obtaining a topology by using the properties of interior.